Now, 6 DCT450, got the mechatronic plate off. Just be very careful with the range sensor there. Take all them off. We're going to replace these solenoids with new ones. And the idea is when you're putting the mechatronic plate back on, there are little contact points on, on the mechatronics there, and they just sit on these little spring-loaded terminals. So what you've got to actually do is leave these on loose so they can just level up, if you can see that. You want to have it sitting flat as you can on the mechatronic contacts. Otherwise, if it's, it's up like this, to one side, it'll still be touching, but it won't be um, enough surface area touching that contact point. So what I do is I leave them on loose, and then when I put the mechatronic plate on, I give them a little bit of a wriggle, and then when they find their own sort of angle, then I tighten them up. Leave them done up almost to the end. And there the little terminal spots there that I'm talking about. They need to be pressing it nice and evenly. And also when you get it all back on, it's a good idea to just double check. Make sure the solenoids are all within specs. And they're all about, depending on the temperature, room temperature here is about 22 degrees today. And we've got 3.8 ohms. And they'll all be 3.8 ohms. Even though they're new solenoids, it's a good idea to just check everything. You want to just try and bolt that down evenly as well. And now I've got all the solenoids on loose, and you just give it a little bit of a wriggle like that, just till it finds its own little seat there, and then you can tighten those up. Don't go too crazy because you'll you'll ruin the little spline in the in the bolt there. Be very careful with that range sensor because it is very delicate, can be damaged quite easily. Replaced all the solenoids and these little crush gaskets. Important to, uh, there is a sequence uh, when you're putting that valve body back onto the transmission. The whole idea is to get this tightened up nice and evenly. Now we've got the gaskets back on and they just press on. That little pin up there, it just sort of locates it in. You want to make sure those gaskets are as straight as possible or it'll possibly jump off that little pin when you're putting the valve body back on. You're ready to put the valve body in. What I do is I tuck this cable back on the transmission. And if you're doing it on your own, you just tie a little wire at the bottom there just to pull it across. I've got someone to just push it in as I'm putting it in. Now you'll find that sensor there is quite long, so you've got to get that one in first. And also don't forget to line up your little range sensor wheel there. So we put the bottom one in first, like so, and then you'll be able to manoeuvre it in like that. 
You can see that. Not much space here. But it will fit in. And you just have to guide it onto those pins. Yep, that's it. Okay, now before you push it in, double check your gaskets. Just double check the crushed gaskets there, over here and over here. Make sure your pins are all lined up. Make sure your selector's in drive. The selector here on the transmission, don't worry about the selector on the vehicle. Also the range sensor cable, make sure you don't pinch that. Now this is all, all the way in, the pin. We're in drive, we've marked it. And now we just slowly slide that in. Like so. That's it. That should be lined up. When we pull this out, it has got that little spring steel um, tooth section so you might have to find that you have to push this towards the front of the vehicle just slightly to release that pin easily. You just need to support that a little bit. Now we've got this in and make sure you put the two little bolts that hold that plug in as well. We've got all that in. And now we can just pull that. I've only put two bolts on the valve body, just right up, because sometimes you might need to slide it out to realign this pin a couple of times. So until you get it right, you don't need to tighten them all up. And if I just put a tiny bit of tension here, just pushing it towards the front, I should be able to easily pull that pin out. And that, that's it. Just slides right out easily. You can see that. And that hole won't be 100% lined up because of that little spring steel tooth bit. And here we are on the Mitsubishi shop manual. And it just shows you the tightening sequence of those bolts. Just so that crush gasket goes on evenly. And if it's a new uh, gasket, you need to do it in two stages. First stage, you'll tighten them up in that sequence to 44 inch pound, or say 44 plus or minus 8 inch pound, so about 45, 50. And then you'll do it again to 90 or 89 plus or minus 8 inch pound torque. And that way that crush washer will be sort of bolted on evenly. If uh, you're reusing your old one, you only need to tighten it up to the second higher setting. There we go, all torqued up. Don't forget to put your magnets in, even add additional magnets. It's very beneficial to these transmissions. Don't forget to push the plug back in the range sensor plug and you've got to weave it probably easy to weave it through first and push that plug in and there it is don't forget to check out our other videos and that'll show you how to complete the job and also to check the fluid level hope that's helped don't forget to like and subscribe Leave us comments or any hints you have in the section below. And throw us a beer if any of this information has helped or help you save a bit of time and money. Thank you for watching.